What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Des. I go by Des B. If you're new here, hello. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I'm so excited to have you guys with me today. As you guys will see in a few seconds, a few more seconds, we are going to be jumping in today, talking a little bit about skincare, Botox, self-tanner, how I've transformed my skin, what I suggest for you, and also showing you a little bit of what I used to get this natural look. I'm not a makeup guru, I'm not here to like shout from the hilltops that you should be doing what I'm doing, but I have been really working on getting better at my makeup and putting it on and applying it, and I'm taking all tips and all tricks. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's chat a little bit. I hope that this helps some of you out there who are maybe struggling with skin issues and trying to find that confidence in your own skin without makeup, I mean, without a tanning bed. Make sure if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and make sure you click the little bell so that you never miss any of my videos. Let's get into it. First and foremost, I obviously am bare skinned right now. So that's kind of the premise of what I wanted to share is kind of talking about my skincare journey, what steps I've taken as being an adult to clear up my skin, take care of it, and ultimately produce this beautiful canvas. <laughs> Just kidding, but I am gonna be putting my hair up. This is a few products I have today. I'm really excited to share also. Obviously, as always, my Riley Rayco scrunchies. This is a small business. If you know me, you know I'm team small biz. Hustlin' honeys, I'm about it. So I have Riley Rayco scrunchies on me, and because I get insanely thirsty during these videos, I have two things. Number one, my Lani Nutrition Energy Drink with my reusable straw. And number two, my All The Coffee Co. reusable Starbucks cup, and it actually says does be fit on it. it has these really cute donuts on it so this is actually filled with just carbonated water one of the like ice drinks and then this obviously <sighs> that's dangerous i feel like i'm at a party i'm getting into my routine for my get ready with me i will also share what products i'm using but they can all be found in the description box below i'll try to link as much as i can below and they are found on my like to know it so i'm going to start with my tula primer as always this does come out a little bit in like a iridescent color so don't be worried about that you can just shake it up and then place it on your face in your t-zone as you need this isn't gonna like discolor your face at all but it does have a coloring to it so don't be don't be worried about that at all with my face journey i'm gonna try to include a few pictures in here but ever since i was younger i always got blasted for my skin my sister i remember literally would make fun of me telling me that I looked like a pizza factory on my face. And I don't know why I went through this. I was a very active kid. I had a lot going on. Being an athlete, a three sport, four sport kid, I had a lot of just not understanding of hygiene, right? Like we're young, we're going through puberty and we're like, oh my gosh, why do I have pimples? Where, how do I get rid of them? Skincare wasn't really a thing and the only thing my family and I could really afford was Noxzema. And if you guys remember Noxzema, please let me know below. <laughs> I am using my Shape Tape foundation today. One of my favorite foundations, it just leaves me looking really nice, matte and put together. Throughout kind of high school, I struggled with acne really bad, but then I came into 2010 and I got on birth control so as you guys could only assume birth control like solves all problems in your skin which it really doesn't but it almost just puts on this band-aid for the skin so also might I add that like, this might not color match well but I literally don't care, okay? I'm just here doing my makeup for fun. And once I got on birth control, my acne definitely got better. I always struggled with back acne. I don't know why, like along my lats and my shoulder blades. And then I did have really bad chest acne as a child too. But once I got on birth control, that all seemed to kind of go away. And especially once I started using the tanning bed, that also went away. If you guys out there are post tanning bed fiends, or maybe you still are, I'm gonna be here to inspire you today to get out of the tanning bed. I started tanning my freshman year of high school for my first ever like formal dance. And you know, I feel like everyone out there, all the, all my girls out there, I feel like y'all went through the same thing. You're like, oh my gosh, I need to be literally burnt orange <laughs> to go to the dance. Oh my gosh, Johnny's not gonna like me if I'm not tan. <laughs> Throughout that phase, I definitely learned the tanning bed. My mom is always tanned. This hoe still tans, which this is a message to you. Mom, stop tanning. I will get you self tanner. I'm now gonna use my Shape Tape concealer to kind of go under my eyes and in my T-zone a little bit. So if you guys understand, like in the sun, in the summer, I think we can all agree 
that our skin just looks a little bit more glowy. Like we have a little bit more red tint because we're out in the sun, but in general, the sun slash like UV rays really kind of just make our skin feel really good. So that's why I wanted to keep tanning is because I saw a huge change in my skin along with my birth control. Fast forward to, let's go two years ago in 2018, I decided to get off of all birth control. So it was January of 2018, I made an appointment, got my IUD ripped out of my JJ and was like, get the F out of here. You were making me feel terrible. So I had a lot of like depressive mood swings on my birth control. I don't know why I had a lot of loss of libido, right? Like basically where I had no sex drive, did not want anyone looking at me or even touching me. And in this case, that was Wyatt. <laughs> Once I got off birth control in 2018, I was totally fine for like five months. So I got off in January. And then once August hit, I realized my skin went ballistic. I was like literally in shock of what was going on. Throughout this duration in time, I had also been living in Florida, so I was naturally getting sunlight, but I have not been in a tanning bed since 2012. And I'll get into that after the first part of the skincare story. Like I said, October comes around, my skin just goes nutty. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. What is going on here? How do I need to fix my skin? So I was looking up all these things, all these things like post birth control syndrome. How can I help my skin, etc. And that's when I started taking balance. During 2018, I also started using Tula. There was a combination of things going on that I was changing in my skin that caused what I would call a purge. So not only was I struggling with post birth control coming off these hormones and my body going, holy shit, but also I was struggling with the purge of just new skincare and also using skincare for the first time ever and sticking to one routine. I just went in with my setting powder, Kylie Cosmetics in soft pink. This just kind of sets my concealer. I probably could bake, but I don't know how to do that. And again, I don't really care. This is just my everyday look. Once I really actually utilized Tula and created a skincare routine with taking balance, with getting my hormones in check and staying birth control free, this is when I started to see mass results. Now you're wondering where did all the rest of the results coming from? And that is a great question because the rest of the results I would confidently say came from not using the tanning bed. And I know that it's something that a lot of people still use and they want to use because they have, you know, a trip coming up or they have an event that they need to go to and they want that base tan. They don't want to worry about like tan coming off in the pool <laughs> or like being outside and having a spray tan you know, malfunction. I totally get that 100%, but I will say that since I stepped out of the tanning bed completely and started using self tanner, that's when I really noticed my skin getting better. Now, when I'm using self tanner, I also make sure that I'm using all of my skincare so that the skin is staying fresh, even with a self tan. So as you would assume, when you self tan, the pigment is really digging in and dissolving into your skin, right? That's how it's pigmenting it. Now, if you're not taking care of that, not only will you A, smell, no matter what, I don't care what you're using, you're gonna smell, or B, you're going to end up having like breakouts and acne because you're not and maintain that fresh skin. So some of my favorite products right now that I've been using are my Glow Pro Tans. I've been using it for about eight months now. And then also obviously all my Tula products, especially the acne fighting kit. That has been so key for me in my times of the month. That's when I really use that product the most. So I just finished up my contouring with my natural faced palette by Too Faced. I will say this company, I don't really support anymore for ethical reasons, but I really do love that palette. So I'm going to go in now with my eyebrows and I'm going to use my two benefit brow pens. Again, these are all going to be linked in the description box below. As I continue to use Tula, as I continue to use Glow Pro Tans, I will say that skincare is something that everyone needs to invest in. I kind of always thought that it was a little like gimmicky and I thought people were always just trying to, you know, m like companies were always trying to make money because everyone wants to look youthful, everyone wants to look good, everyone wants clear skin. And so when things like Proactive and all of these companies started coming out and creating all these products, I kind of thought that it was just a big money pit because in my eyes, I was using, you know, my cheap Neutrogena or Noxzema pads. And I thought that I was completely fine when in reality, the formulation of those products 
are literally terrible. They are something that in my opinion and what you know from what I've been using with Tula in the probiotic technology that they use it is not something that you want to have on your skin. It is something that can actually wreak more havoc for a lot of people on their skin. Same with being in the tanning bed. Not only are you more susceptible to having melanoma and literally skin cancer and having to lose chunks of your skin, undergo radiation, like literally the worst case scenarios, but it is so real guys. Like sun exposure and fake sun exposure with like tanning beds is a real, real thing that we need to be super aware of, especially if you have melanoma in your family or you're just simply at a higher rate of developing melanoma due to your personal skin type. So if you're someone out there who is whitey white and you don't tan well, sis, get on that self tanner because it's changed my life. I do not have self tanner on right now because when you are getting laser hair removal, you can't self tan over your whole body. And since I'm getting my full Brazilian done and my armpits, I've had to stay really smart about how I self tan because if it gets into my crevices, at any way, shape, or form into my hair follicles, I could ruin some of my progress with my laser hair removal. And honey, I paid way too much for that to screw it up for a nice little hanky-panky self-tanning appointment in my bathroom. So what I did now is I just kind of outlined my brow with my Shape Tape Concealer. This just kind of defines the brow a little bit more and I drag it down from that brow line into my eyelid. I do end up blending this a little bit with some bronzer so that it looks a little bit more natural. I'm bringing down the bridge in the nose just to kind of lighten it up here. If there's anything that I can tell you guys out there, it's that a skincare journey not only A, takes a long time, but B, you need to make sure that whatever you're using, you're really driving it home. You don't want to keep mixing up products. You don't want to keep switching things on and off. I've been using Tula for two years now, and it has been the best decision for my skin and continues to be. They have so many products coming out that it's it's tea. And lastly, I'm using my Kylie pressed blush powder. We're going shopping. I actually got this from my assistant coach for Christmas. So shout out to Emily. I love this color. You might be like, okay, Des, I'm totally in. I need help taking care of my skin. So what do I do next? How do I develop a skincare system? How do I know it's going to work with, with me? I will say that both products, the self tanning and Tula have great return policies. So you do want to make sure that you are reading into that because the last thing you want to do is try a product have it maybe not work for you and then not be able to return it. I will tell you right off the bat though that these two companies that I work with have great return policies and they only want what's best for their customers. With Tula, I would definitely recommend doing the skincare quiz and really deciding from there what works best for your skin, your personal lifestyle, what environment you live in. You know, do you live in somewhere hot? Do you live in somewhere cold? Do you experience dryness? Do you experience redness? Do you experience mass sweating? All of that is gonna be taken into consideration, which you can find the skincare finder below. I will say right now my code DESB does save you 20%, but on February 1st, first it changes to 15 percent they're rolling out a lot more affordable products this year and because of that because the expansion of the company they're dipping our codes a little bit lower so you're still getting a great savings but if you're someone out there wanting to stock up get to it before february 1st with glow pro tans this is a great company because you have a few different options of tanning, but I will say that in my opinion, you can always go with the darkest formula and it will always color match your skin. So for me, I use, so for me, I use the 14% DHA and then I use the, then I use the tanning extending lotion. And then sometimes I use the facial tanning serum. Now I don't always use the face because I'd rather color match my foundation to my skin or like my bronzer. But if you're someone who definitely needs needs both then you can you know use the darker serum and then if it's ever too dark for you or you just want it a little bit lighter in general just get in the shower and literally rinse off just a smidgen and you're gonna be perfect oh shit i did not realize how hard this jeffree star cosmetics um highlight goes so oops this is the gag me <laughs> gag me extreme frost absolutely love this product and then what i used on my brow was just my nyx tinted brow mascara you can use whatever um sometimes i even just use a clear brow gel to use like on natural days and just 
make my eyebrows look good. Last thing I'm gonna do is go in for my mascara, which is just my Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. I love this mascara. If you guys ever ask me what you're wearing, this is literally it. I do have naturally long lashes, so it just like makes sense for me. <laughs> to kind of wrap up like my thoughts on skincare, you know, I'm not the one to beat around the bush with you guys. These are two products, well, should I just say two companies with multiple products that I use in my everyday life? If I didn't believe in them or I didn't believe that they could make a change in your life, I would not tell you to use them. If I think that they're shitty, I'm literally gonna be straight up and tell you that they're shitty. Or if I don't use something of theirs, I'm gonna tell you I don't use it. Just like how I just said, I don't always use the facial tanning. I just don't. I have it just in case, you know, sometimes I wanna use it, but I don't use it. With Tula, I literally use everything at just different times of the month. So like my acne fighting kit, I really use, look at this difference. My acne fighting kit I really use during my time of the month. And then the rest of the month I like to use either my milk cleanser or my cult classic wash just because it feels really good on my skin. And I always am using my acne toner corrector. This is this has just like really helped me take care of my acne and also really resurface my skin. So I used to have like really extreme redness around my skin, just like naturally pigmented under my eyes. And I will say that with using Tula, I've been able to really like literally change the surface of my skin. And I think that's super, super empowering. And for anyone that's looking to do the same, Tula has your back. So now that I'm done kind of with my makeup for the most part, I like, I like to take my makeup removing wipes. This is one thing that Tula doesn't have, but stuff is coming. That's all I'm saying. I like to just go around my lips to remove any excess makeup so I don't literally have foundation on my lip. And as you see, I kind of messed up a little bit above my eye, so I'm just gonna kind of hope that I don't mess it up more. So I'm gonna spray my face with my Hangover 3-in-1. This is just a little mini that I got. I usually use my All Nighter Urban Decay, but I've just been using this because I got it in a free set. Then I got this fan in Thailand. Shout out to my homies there. So this is kind of just like my normal everyday look. Sorry, I'm checking myself out in the viewfinder because... <laughs> Girl, what's up? You look cute. I really like just the way that my natural makeup has been going on lately. And I think that again is a testimony to what I've been doing for my skin. My makeup used to never go on like this smooth or like this great. And not only do I think I'm using a great primer, which I love Tula's makeup primer, but I also think that I finally have the canvas, AKA my skin to really put the products on my face properly and have them displayed like to the best versus on like poopy skin. Does that make sense? With that being said, I think if I were to kind of wrap up my skincare experience in one word, it would be <laughs> amazing. But okay, let's say one phrase. It would have to be trial and error. I tried a lot of things and I'm sure you guys have too, but I think that if there's a few things you can do for your skin, it's to get in a routine and get out of the tanning bed, protect yourself in the sunlight, be aware of your environment. The longer that you go on kind of putting your skin in this risk zone, the more repercussions you're gonna have as you get older, period. I don't care who you are, I don't care what else you get done, it is going to happen. And I guess one thing I didn't even think about saying was truthfully getting Botox. Um, I've been getting Botox since before my wedding and to the point where because I'm so young and because if you're watching you're so young, we don't have to fill up our face with these units that force us to be like the girl from the Cinderella story, like the mom, you know, where she's like, eh. oh my God. It's not like that at all. A lot of people have this weird association with Botox being like your face is frozen. It's absolutely not. What it does is it causes paralysis of certain muscles so that you're not using them a lot, therefore not creating excess wrinkles and also helping with anti-aging. I do believe that aging is beautiful. I think that wrinkles are beautiful, but what else I think is beautiful is preventative skincare, taking care of yourself, and also making sure that you're investing in your future self if that's something you want. It's something I personally budget for because I think it's very valuable and again it's something that if you're going to the right professional they will do it for what is appropriate for your age and where you're at point of doing them when you're younger is so when you're older you don't have to do them really at all because you've already taken care of that preventative measure to share what I do is gonna be something that I want to continue to just be open with you guys about the only reason I've never mentioned Botox is because 
to be honest, like it's really no one's business. I'm not altering my complete face and like I'm not getting plastic surgery. And when I did on my boobs, I was very open about that. So I don't think that a lot of people in the fitness realm, in life as influencers actually kind of tell people to get Botox because it literally does make a difference. Like now that you guys are seeing me and you go, wow, she has Botox, I literally never knew. It's like, ex exactly. You, sh you shouldn't know. If you have a right practitioner, you shouldn't know that you're getting them done. That's kind of the point. So if there's a few things I can suggest to you guys, again, it's gonna be Tula Skincare, use their skincare finder, and then Glow Pro Tans to get that skin glowing. Um, I've had such good success with both of them, and I think that helping myself feel so confident in the way my skin is, and even just naturally without makeup on, having a nice self-care system in place of skincare as well as self-tanning has really made that easy and available for me in my home, not forcing me to travel anywhere. If you guys have any questions on more skincare, more health and wellness, more whatever, um, I'd love to help you guys. And especially when it comes to things that I use, you know, I'm putting these things in the description box below. I'm also adding some videos. So if you're curious what something is or where I use it, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. Again, just like a very normal look, obviously just kind of chatting a little bit deeper of where I've come from in my skincare journeys. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Video, where we're gonna be discussing what I'm eating before the gym and showing you guys a little look into my leg day warm-up and what I do. So I'll see you guys next week. Make sure if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, click the little bell so you never miss any of my videos. See ya.